Hello and welcome everyone to another video here on the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Season 1 Battle Pass for Call of Duty Vanguard and Call of Duty Warzone. And just as an FYI and a little bit of a disclaimer, you're going to see up here that I am level 1. That is because I am on an account that was provided to me by Activision. I did get early access to the Warzone Pacific map, so you'll see some gameplay in the description down below. Huge thanks to them for letting me play the game early. Anyways, with that being said, guys, for more content like this here on the channel, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. With that being said, let's get right into the Battle Pass. Alright guys, so first up, we're going to start with the instant rewards. If you get the bundle, you're going to get a Polina skin, and this is her in a gas mask type of uh, suit. And you're also going to get a Francis skin as an instant reward, as well as the Alleyway Arthur skin, as well as double XP and the Vanguard Season 1 XP boost. I think it's like a 10% XP boost for the entire season, which is very helpful considering the fact that the progression in Vanguard is slow, very, very slow. Anyways, we're going to get some calling cards here. Double XP, a uh, double weapon XP token for an hour. Hopefully, uh, there's some more in the pass as well, because as I said before, that uh, progression is definitely a bit of a grind. A Ripper blueprint for the STG coming in at five. And this seems like something that's new. I'm not exactly sure how this works out. But uh, as you guys will see later in the Battle Pass, there's free tiers for people who don't buy the Battle Pass. And there's this new tier called a clan tier. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is right now, as I don't have, like, the full build of the game. But I'm assuming that this will only be available to people that are in a clan or a clan that has progressed to a certain level. So definitely an interesting concept, and I like the idea this will be a good way to get people into clans and kind of bolster up the progression and uh, kind of membership in clan. So I'm actually behind this. I like this, and it'll definitely get some people uh, into more clans. More double XP, blazing speed sticker. We've got another calling card. Uh, believe it or not, with uh, this game, there's also now calling card frames, and if you've played Vanguard, you'll know that. So the calling cards are a little more badass now in Warzone. Before, I really didn't care about the calling cards, but now that we have the frame and the actual calling card, it just makes it a little more uh, personable, and I really like that touch. You're going to also get the Desert Cover, uh, cover uh, Halima skin, so this one's cool as well. A Relentless Player title. So you'll see up top that that's the title that you'll get. Some more COD points at uh, 11 as well as double weapon XP. Looks like they're definitely stacking you up with the double weapon XP. Here is the Cooper Carbine. This is going to be the free weapon of the season or one of, I believe, the two or three weapons that'll be coming in this season. Uh, this is the Cooper Carbine. This is an assault rifle. I don't know exactly what assault rifle it is. I don't I can't see exactly what it is, but uh, this is the new weapon in the game. Let's see if I can get a preview of the uh, of the weapon. Ooh, very pretty. Can't wait to kind of go ahead and use this in the game. We're going to get an MP40 blueprint because, of course, it wouldn't be a battle pass without an MP40 blueprint. Maybe you guys should stop using it. There's like 39 other guns to use. But with that being said, we're going to go on. We're going to get a Luger blueprint. A Raptor Rage Execution, and I think I might only be able to uh, look at that in Vanguard. There's also another tier, if it... Okay, there it is. It's also going to give you a double weapon XP as well with that. We get another skin for uh, Shiganori, and uh, Test Me as a uh, calling card, and we're also going to get a perk. What? Uh, what? Serpentine? More info. Uh... Okay, so there is a perk in the Battle Pass. Oh, it's exclusive to Vanguard. Okay. Uh... Whoa, I was... I did not see that coming. Uh, we have a perk in the Battle Pass. Wow, okay, more info on that definitely coming soon. Uh, holy moly. We're going to have uh, more double XP, COD points, uh, the Assault Rifle Charlie, I think this is the uh, the BAR, more double weapon XP, uh, Before Daylight Calling Card, and an Operator Highlight Intro, more of the stuff for uh, Vanguard uh, exclusively. We're going to have, ooh, this is a very pretty uh, one. Is this the Itra Bur Oh, no, this is the Automaton. Ooh, this is a very pretty uh, blueprint. Uh, another Brazen Player title. 
double XP, split attack for Padma uh, Padmavati. I don't know how to say her name, and I don't want to butcher it, but I already tried. We're going to get the Agrinko anti-tank rifle, and this is basically the PTRS. And uh, this is a big boy sniper, so this is probably going to take a ton of time to ADS, but it's going to do a lot of damage. So definitely expect to uh, be breaking plates off in Warzone and putting people to pretty low health with uh, with the sheer power of that weapon. Traitor Racer Calling Card. We're going to get a Chicago Time Watch, Exhauster Blueprint for the STG. Ooh, a Sawtooth Weapon. This is going to be the first melee weapon available in Vanguard as part of a battle pass. That looks really cool, the Sawtooth Melee Weapon. The Track Light M1 Grand. Blow a pin sticker. And, uh... Huh? Oh my god. There is an incendiary grenade that you get in the battle pass for Vanguard. Well, they are putting weapons in the battle pass. And, like, I mean, it's free, but there's lethals and perks in the battle pass? What? So, wow, this is probably, like, one of the best battle passes so far in terms of content. Like, just because there's a perk and a, and a grenade in it. Uh, ground cover for Daniel. We're going to get some more COD points. Another blueprint for a shotgun. More double XP weapons. Uh, more double weapon X. There's another perk. Intuition. I... What? Are these, like, weapon perks or something? I'm so confused. Okay, so there is another perk in the Battle Pass. That is the second per so, uh, perk so far in the Battle Pass. Space Issue, Submachine Gun Charlie, Double XP Token, another Emblem, Call of Duty Points, Impenetrable. Uh, we're going to get Constant Skin. Uh, this is the this has to be the Itra Burst, I think. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Full Steam, Double XP, Ancient Axe, that's a charm. This is another clan tier. This can be specific to those clans. This is going to be a blueprint for an LMG. Uh, I think that might be the... No, not the Bruin, sorry. Uh, I haven't used the LMG as much. I'm still grinding out the uh, Assault Rifles and Snipers. COD points, um, more Double Weapon XP, another uh, player title, Dev Desert Zebra SMG blueprint, Spruce at 60, and then there's your free one. It's Glowing Peace. A watch we've got some more xp oh this is a nice one a clan tier calling card i like this calling card it's probably my favorite one so far in this pass uh the earthly tribe uh blueprint more call of duty points and uh here we have a kill cam theme so this is something that's going to be new to vanguard there's going to be a theme in the kill cam so now there's going to be like a little border around it so i like that that looks pretty cool morning debrief calling card we have some more double up in xp aerosmith guardian slayer as a skin for solange we're going to get the Gargoyle Sniper Blueprint, Air and Sea Calling Card, and another MVP highlight called Artesian. Double Weapon XP, Call of Duty Points, Seaworthy. Uh, we're going to get a SMG called Wind Cloaker as a blueprint, and I think that's for the Sten. Hopefully it gets a buff, because that gun is just... Or actually, it's the Type 100. The Sten is the one that's just... Ooh, that one's horrible, in my opinion. Patient Shots Sniper, uh, the Calling Card. We're going to get 45 minutes of double weapon XP, Lady Boom, Dapper Denim, we're going to get a Magnum Blueprint, 100 COD points, more double XP, just kind of go through this a little faster, get more blueprints, more calling cards, a Polina skin called Rising Legend, that one looks pretty cool, Lava Light, oh, I actually like this calling card a lot at uh, 91, that looks cool, Lava Light, and we're going to get a nice shot Operator Highlight Intro, Hold the Line BAR, double XP, COD points, Awoken as the mastery skin for Francis. That looks pretty cool. We're actually going to go ahead and preview that. This looks really cool. I kind of dig it. I don't know what this will look like in Vanguard. This will probably be a little weird in Vanguard, but uh, in terms of Caldera, this will probably fit right in. A Hellraiser blueprint, or sorry, the Harvester blueprint and a title that says Hellraiser, the Elixir or Exiler emblem, and Fire Breather charm for Season 1. So you do get a Season 1 charm that looks pretty badass. So overall, that is the Battle Pass, definitely the craziest Battle Pass uh, so far. I mean, there's actually perks in this Battle Pass as well as two, there's two perks, two weapons, and a incendiary grenade and you get most of those by i think like tier 50 so overall it's not going to be too grindy to get this stuff but uh, i'm definitely interested to see what kind of impact this has on cod vanguard as well as warzone 
Anyways, guys, with that being said, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out the early access gameplay of Caldera linked down below. And also, just an FYI, uh, most of the stuff that you unlock, like the incendiary grenade, they seem to be exclusive to Vanguard, so no reason to be uh, too alarmed. Anyways, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one.